I um I think it'd be great to jump into a demo demo now if you're up for it. Sure. What do you want to do? What do you want to build? I can show some stuff and then maybe if I don't know if there's like audience questions. One yeah. of the fun things, one of the fun things our team did is on Reddit. Gosh, it was probably a little over a month ago now. On the Chris reforms, we did a build me anything challenge where we actually yeah. built 14 prototypes for Redditors that were submitted like the night before. And then we spent a whole day sort of building them and, and sort of sharing them. That was really fun. I don't think you could have ever done such a thing prior. I don't know. Four or five six months ago right i'm go i'm uh, gonna link to that because you've got some you've got all the code and great videos and i messaged you earlier today han's uh, video was super cool of yeah the um converting text into what different generations would say so yeah why don't you show us something and then we'll get some ideas from the crowd as well all right let me make sure i can like share my screen maybe we could start we, we could just modify this because it's easier than starting from scratch um i'll show you this little thing that i was messing around with this morning People see this? I'm not sure. They can, yeah. Everyone okay. can see it. We're good. Okay, cool. Um, so, you know, I I have a love for GitHub. And the first thing I, I guess makes sense to show, we can figure out how we want to modify it a little bit, is, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's stored on GitHub that is not code. For example, data, right? And so I was thinking like, huh, wouldn't it be cool to make a little Chrome extension so that you could like do something with this? So I just searched for, you know, CSVs here. and I'll just pull one up and I'll show you, I installed this extension that I built. Uh, I'll pull one that might be interesting. Uh, what's a good one? Let's just go to this actual repo because I think there's a lot of CSVs in it, our data. Cool, so there's lots of data in this. What the thing does is basically if it finds a path that ends in CSV, I don't know, I don't, I'm just picking random things. This doesn't look very interesting because I actually want to query something. Gosh, we have to find a good example of data. Bake Off. What's the Bake Off? Okay. Right. So something you might notice here, do you see the SQL query button? Yes. That's like poorly aligned. So that's actually what the extension is doing. It's, it's, it's marking up. And that's up the, the Chrome software. extension you built. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah. Uh, for example, I'll just remove this here um, and then I'll like reapply it and you'll see that the DOM will change. So see, mm -hmm. it's gone, right? So I'm going to add it back, uh, load unpacked, make sure I'm in the right directory. It's going to dist. And for people that have never built a Chrome extension, well, you're going to get a taste of what it's like to do it. The reason I don't didn't want to live this after I kind of went through it once is it's actually pretty complicated because of all the CSP rules that, that uh, Chrome and also GitHub have, like the, that prevents you from doing a lot of stuff. There's actually like a background service worker and like a sandbox environment, but just to show everyone. So let me reload this now that the extension's there and you see it comes back. If I click on this, I'm using, I think the package is uh, like Ada SQL, which is um, an NPM package that allows you to write SQL queries against stuff sort of in memory. And so I'm gonna open up the developer tools here and show you kind of like what's happening kind of like on the side. So I think here, okay. So you can see some of the stuff that's happening, right? Like sandbox URL, mm -hmm. CSV, GitHub. Let me make this bigger. You can kind of see what happens when it gets initialized. Yep. So, you know, the DOM gets the loaded, sandbox is ready. And now we're ready for queries. So one of the nice things about this, if I actually like write a query, um, I actually don't need to know what the table name is called because Ada uses this like little <clears throat> question mark syntax here. And I'll do like limit 10. Um, and I run it, and there we go. Um, this is this is that Baker's data set, right? We're just looking at this mm -hmm. um, for whatever reason. And I just thought this was interesting because obviously, That's like cool. they're big things, uh, big CSVs, you might not want to download them. You might want to explore them first to get a sense of what's in there. So, like, let's write something more complicated, like um, occupation. And then I'll and just, just to be clear, this is something you vibe code. Yeah, I did it like at two p.m. Uh, and afternoon. To be assured that it's giving oh, you the results, co correct well. results though. Oh, yeah. have you needed to look at look at the code to just confirm a few things? How do you how do you learn to trust what you've vibe coded? Well, in this case, I don't have a lot of experience building Chrome <laughs> extensions, so uh, like one of the strategies that I used in this case was uh, I was iteratively testing it as I was building it, mm. and like. Obviously, I know, you know, like how SQL works. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
kind of verify that um you know this is working as expected right but yep. there are parts of it that i know are not working correctly so like i don't actually even know what save query does because i wasn't testing this let's see test on baker's data set baker's delight sorry that's a chain in australia yeah the, the funny realize. thing is now i have no idea how do i access that right yeah <laughs> like i don't actually know what happens now um but yeah, the basic functionality I was able to sort of get working here and we can add like another query and we can do something. I can't even remember what the columns were. Uh, so let, like, let's look at them again. Oh, Baker. Okay. There's like not actually that much stuff. Oh, that's only 10 rows. Um, yeah. So you, you get the idea. Like it, it works enough for what I was trying to get across, which is mm -hmm. I actually load this and run something that required an eval function in a sandbox because the content uh, scripting, whatever CSP stands for, it doesn't allow you to, in, in a Chrome extension, evaluate things. Uh, and so that's why there is actually a, there's, there's what you, you see here, but there's also this background service that goes and fetches the data and loads it. And then there's this sort of sandbox HTML, which I, has less restrictions in terms of what Chrome allows or doesn't allow to happen. But yeah, why don't we like look at it? And one of the things I can show too is I think in my plan, so I know this isn't the full history and maybe it's not as exciting, but I actually started off like this. Like this is actually what I first wrote to start to execute this. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that spec story does is it stores all your history over here. So I started from like a starter repo and like, this is Markdown, so I can just like preview this, right? And, you know, this, do this, there's actually the plan was in the context there. And you can see that there was a lot, there is a lot of back and forth. And I definitely failed many, many times. Oh yes, the content security policy. That That is the thing that requires a lot of workarounds that I wasn't <laughs> super familiar with, which led to the sort of architecture that exists today, which is, you know, most of what you saw, where is it? It's in here. And I think it's in this content TSX file. A lot of the sort of front end of everything is defined in here. And there's a message passing system that basically works to fetch the data using this background service and then enable me to use the sandbox to actually evaluate the queries and send them back to essentially content.tsx, which is the, the front end that we were looking at together. So, you know, we could modify this, rebuild the thing, and then change it if you want. Or we can do com something completely, uh, something. Com well, we've got a few ideas from the crowd. I also, I had an idea. I, I don't know if this is possible at all, but all those J JFK documents that were released yesterday, can we build something to do like information retrieval there or be able to query them or something, something like that? 